Hey everyone, welcome back to where we are testing every single mask in the world. Today, very excited to test our not N95s. Whoops, not N95 masks. Um, we have been working on our NIOSH certification for a year. And, and you know, the average amount of time actually takes about two years, so we're still money ahead if we can get it soon. Uh, and if you go on our website, you're gonna find that uh, we're not actually selling it. And there's a reason for that, because we wanna wait till we give you that pure, certified goodness. But I'm gonna test the mask anyways to show you what it's like. Now, this is our AA95. It is not an N95. And none of these videos or statements have been evaluated by NIOSH for accuracy. So. Uh, that's my little disclaimer there. All right, let's take a look at the actual product here. So you're going to notice that this setup is a little bit different. When you open, uh, when you open the box of a N95, typically you are going to see in a bag, but it is not going to be sealed. The reason for that is um, when you apply heat, especially to a cup style respirator, it can actually change the uh, formulation and hurt that N95 goodness that you're paying for. Um, the same thing does not happen with, uh, with a surgical mask for a variety of reasons. Hashtag science. All right, uh, let me show you the different setup that we have going on with this. Now, this is not the way that NIOSH would be doing this test. And they would, let's, let's just say their test involves beeswax. And I don't like getting dirty, so <laughs> we're not gonna be using the beeswax today. This is a modified setup. It's actually 3D printed that allows us to do quick changes. And because of that, um, the test is a little bit different, but we're doing the math so that everything uh, comes out the same. So you're just gonna have to trust me or not. All right, put this guy in the clamp right here. All right, let's let her rip. Now this is a PFE machine. We're, we're testing particulate filtration efficiency. If you want to find out how more, how this setup is different than the other tests we've been doing, check out that link right there. All right. So um, one thing I'm going to show you real quick here is the airflow resistance. Um, that is going to be a lot higher. And the reason why it's a lot higher than our surgical masks is because, quite frankly, N95s are harder to breathe in. And the reason is it's giving that full seal, right? Not letting anything in. And uh, when that happens, uh, that because also it's got this cup style respirator, it actually, uh, we have to put um, this, this cotton structure on the outside that gives you more a breathable area. And because of that, that's actually harder to breathe in. And the heating and all that changes this. So NIOSH standard is below basically 250 Pascals. And we, uh, we are meeting that as you can see. Uh, but our, our surgical masks are going to be under 130, so they're a lot easier to breathe through. So that's why, you know, if you're in a, a situation like with Delta and all this stuff, reach for that N95. It's going to give you better protection. Also going to be harder to breathe in. All right, I want to take a look at our website. You cannot get these on Amazon. If you go to armbrust.com, you're going to see we have them here. Actually, Mark sold out right now because we only really let our investors buy them. And again, it's, we're just waiting to get the full certification from NIOSH before we actually really start selling them. But you can see them on their website. The exciting thing is part of this N95 series is I'm testing all the N95 masks that are American made that you can also buy on our website because we've been partnering with the best N95 manufacturers. All right, let's go back to the box for a second. Um, all right, so first thing you're gonna notice, soft touch. Mm, beautiful, love it. Um, doing a lot, NIOSH is, is, is a lot about like how you do things in the worst case scenario. So they're making it so that you really have to show every single piece of this, how you put it on. Um, and also you're gonna notice on every single panel, this is not an N95 mask. Because again, we're waiting to get that full certification before sending these your way. Let me try this on. And uh, the other thing is different about N95 mask is that they're gonna have these, uh, these head straps. Head strap is gonna give you a much better seal. Now, we're just talking about filtration here in this video. We're not talking about fit, but NIOSH cares deeply about fit. And uh, when you put this on, you wanna pinch it. It's got a uh, nose cone, or uh, sorry, it's got a, uh, a, a nose foam in there that's gonna help give you that seal. If you have hair, like I do, on your face, you're not gonna get a good seal, sorry. So if you're in a dangerous situation or you know, wanna work in a COVID ICU, shave your face. You know, stop being lazy. Looking at you, Lloyd. All right, um, the other thing that we really, we, 
other thing that's crazy about N95, why do they cost so much? Because every single one has to be hand tested. I'm not kidding. This thing right here is not gonna break like you would normally get in a surgical mask, which is just basically 100% machine made. We actually have to have people in our lab testing every single one of these. Okay, so that's the other thing you're gonna see with N95 is they should be a lot better. Um, quality, you're not gonna see a lot of those breakages. All right, but again, like I always say, does any of that stuff matter if it doesn't test well? So what does the test come across? Kind of give you a preview before I was cheating. There you go, now again, NIOSH, wants this to be 95% or better. We're using uh, sodium chloride, NaCl, or salt <laughs> to do the test here, which is different than our latex particles in our surgical mass test. Um, and uh, that's pretty good, 99.69%, 99.69%. Um, airflow resistance, is it's a lot harder to breathe in, but dang, it's a pretty good mask, if I do say so myself. And I do. Thank you so much for watching. And do stick with me on the next couple of tests that we do because we're going to be looking at all of the American-made N95 masks. Very excited. And I'll catch you on that next test.